Welcome to this Lego Legs tutorial by Jim. You can also check me out at viperbane.com. It's Friday afternoon and I've been working a little bit this week on building a Lego figure in Cinema 4D. So I thought I was going to share a little bit and I came across a few things that I wanted to do when I did the leg part of the actual Lego figures. So I thought I'm going to share it with you guys here and see what you think about it. Um, I will be explaining as I go along and if you discover th something you think you could have done differently or that you think would be a faster way of doing this, please let me know. This is going to be a little bit more into the modeling bit and we're not going to do any rigging or anything so head straight on into your Cinema 4D application and you should be able to do this in most of your applications because we're only going to work with a little bit of the primitives and converting them into editable objects we were then going to adjust items to to start looking like the legs of a Lego figure. Seeing as it's quite popular and the film is uh, gaining a lot of momentum, I would say that this is probably a good time to do this and get people interested. Because what I've seen so far of the film is that you... We really need to have another film and the best way of having that is having more people knowing how to do this 3D modeling and 3D rendering and that way we're gonna have more of these cool films. If you haven't checked it out yet, do so. Alright, first up you wanna do is head into your render settings so that we have a nice big workspace. I usually do a quick drop down here to film and video and the HD TV settings. Any one of these will put you up at the 19, 20, 10, 80. So head on in there and do this. We don't have to add anything extra because we're just gonna do a little bit of the modeling today. Alright, so the first thing we do is we head in, we do we add a cube, we just do this as a primitive bit, lift it up. And we're gonna adjust this in a little bit of size, press C, so it's easily editable. And in this section here we can adjust a few numbers, so begin by setting Y to 22. So you get a little bit of a flat bit, because we're gonna build by, uh, begin by building the belt part of the legs. And the way I've done this is I've done it in a particular order, because there are a few things to, that needs to be adjusted as you go along. And if you come up with a better workflow, please let me know in the comment sections below. Right, so Z we set to 105, so we have about the width of the legs that we want to use. Alright, so we have a nice belt here, it's starting to look good. Duplicate this one, you can just hold this command or control and drag this one down, let go, so you have it double down here. We want to rotate this one, so First of all, we want it to come this way. Hold in shift so you get the five degree increment. Once you hit 90, let go. And then we start rotating this. So once you hit 90 again, let go. Hold in shift to make sure that you get the even rotation that you get the five degree increments. So we're going to have to lift this one up. Just about so it touches the previous one there. So about this distance. You can zoom in really, really well with the scroll wheel on your mouse just so that these two touch base. Then we're going to have to adjust the width a little bit. And you can do, do this by eye. So you press T on your keyboard so you get the scale tool so you can drag this. So this is the distance you need to drag in about 50%. You can zoom in as I said once again. You want it to be just inside a little bit because this section is slightly smaller but not too much. So there you go, that is looking good. And we already have the uh, uh, top section of the legs. So let's rename this to zipper and this to the belt. We're going to use the zipper later on, but for the time being, we'll lift this up a little bit. Now we need to create legs and they are having a few different shapes in them. So I found this method to work best because we also need to adjust the shape of the zipper in the middle. So what you need to do is begin by adding a cube and we can instantly convert this one to an editable object. So just press C on your keyboard or press this button up here. So we want to change the X and around 86.7 if you have adjusted it the way I did you will get the sort of correct measurements. Keep Y at 200 and take down Z to about 99.8. You should have a well-sized leg that works with this model. So just lift it up, 
and then try to move it into a decent place. What you want to do here is that you want to have a little bit of a distance between the um, belt and the zipper so that this looks good and it will look better soon. We don't have to do anything about the height at the moment, but duplicate this one, hold command or control and just drag it to the side while you have the move tool selected. As you can see now we have fairly good distance here. We may want to check this one, so we move it in a little bit so it's an even distance. Uh, this is just a quick modeling tutorial, so we're not going to go in too much on detail and fine points. So this is quite acceptable. I'm going to adjust it just a little bit more. So, around there looks fine. That will work. All right. Now we need to do this shape with this thing and it's a little bit complex, but bear with me and you will find out exactly how to do this. So take the zipper and these two cubes that you just edited now, press Alt G so we have them in one group. You don't have to name the group to anything because we're going to do something else with it. Now add a cylinder. Flip this cylinder on the X axis, so just go plus or minus X, depends on exactly what you want to do. And we just lift this one up. Now if we head to the side view, this is where the trickiness starts. You want to keep it pretty much spot on here so that you keep the roundness even working at the top because we're gonna do more things with this later on. Once you move this one into place you can either do a height adjustment here and do some 250 or make this an edible object and just drag it up with your scale tool on this axis. But once you have this, this sounds good, I'll press C just so I have it editable. And then I'm actually going to duplicate this one and we're going to hide it. So click these stop lights here, make sure that you shift them to red. You can hold in Alt and double click and then you make it disappear. But we're going to continue working with this one because this and the null group we just created is the important bit. Go in here on this array objects and select bool because we're going to make one disappear and the other stay in place. So cylinder and null lift them in to bool so that they are under here. And you're gonna see we don't really have the shape we want exactly at the time being. So we're gonna do something about this. Head into bool and change this from A subtract B to A intersect B. And there you see we have our wheels. That is looking fantastic, isn't it? All right, once you've done that, click bool and make sure that bool is selected. Press C on your keyboard to make that object editable. Right click on the menu and select children on the bulls. Now you have all the objects selected under this. Then connect objects and delete. Now you create that object there. And the reason we save the cylinder is because we're going to use it to perfect the shape of these uh, legs on the Lego figures. So we have these two items sorted. Now we're going to have to create the legs and this is where the fun bit starts. So with the legs selected, you can rename it here, so double click and type legs, it'll be easier. It's technically the hip part of this bit, but it'll be alright. Alright, so go in underneath, you can either do this by changing the perspective, but I found it quite easy to sit in the 3D view to do this. So we want to do the line selection mode and the faces selected here, so click on that one and then on the faces, and we're gonna select a few of these and we're going to extend them. So the legs on a Lego figure are, they're bulging out a little bit on the top and then going straight down past the knee to the shoes. So we want to select a lower side on this angle. So choose from here somewhere and just drag. And on this side, hold shift, select the same, and then just select as many. Now we're gonna make sure that this is correctly selected and everything. So if you go up to this side, you'll see that it really didn't go on this side. And I would say on this particular setting, it's not too necessary. But if you are really, really keen on making sure that it looks good, zoom in and take these two. Just hold in shift and click. Right, so now we have our selection. What are we going to do? We are going to hold in command or control and just drag down. Look at that, we're already looking at something that looks close to a Lego leg set on the Lego figurine. 
But we're not really there, so we need to do something about this round bottom. So change your perspective to the side. You can press um, F3 on your keyboard or function key and F3 on your, if you're on a Mac. Then you press K on the keyboard and we want to make sure that we cut this off somewhere around here so that the bend area is being removed. So press K on your keyboard so you get the knife tool up. Then you can drag a line, but you can see it's going to be a little bit of an angle. So hold in shift and you will get 45 degree angles. So this looks good. And if we cut now, we're going to have a little bit of trouble because well, as default, the knife tool will only do the visible. So you have to change this one. Untick this and it will make the cut straight through on any items that are in there. So be careful when you use this tool. So let's do that again. Hold in shift and drag and you will make a quick cut. Oh, change to lines, of course, on this side and then it will work. So now you have a nice line cut straight through there and you can change to your first perspective, press F1 or uh, go up here and press this one. You can select your uh, views. Right, we didn't want that view. We actually want to go into this view. Right, so we have a nice selection down here. Go back to the live selection tool and the faces and we want to make sure that we get all of these extra faces. So hold in shift and select all of these faces all the way around. This way you will get rid of most of them and if you miss anything it's just keep on deleting until you have all of them gone. So there we go. You can also select more complex tool that will instantly select all of it going straight through. And also remember to do the select only visible that way you can select sides that aren't visible from your camera perspective. All right. So once you have this selection sorted and we have a flat end on the foot, we press delete. And I can see I missed one here. So just press this one, delete, and everything else looks nice. Reason we delete them and even that tiny bit even though we're going to hide it is because you don't want small and extra vertices and edges and points for the computer to have to render because if we're going to duplicate this Lego figurine 500 times you're going to be a lot of extra polygons to have to render for the computer and they're going to add up in the end. So these legs looks a little bit long and you can either protrude them when you do the extension when you have these selected all on your own but you can also take care of, uh, care of them yourself. So what we're going to do now is select live rectangle selection tools and I'm going to select the lines, so rectangular selection tool from up here, and select lines, and let's select all of these guys. So there you go, they are selected, and let's just move these guys up a little bit so we have a little bit better looking and more proportionally sized looking leg there. That looks good, you can do this by eye, this is just a quick modeling tutorial as I said. So we have this shape here and it's looking really really good so far. We have a few more things that we want to add, so let's begin by adding the feet. The belt object that we created, and we kept it apart from the rest. Duplicate that one, just drag it down. And there we go, we already have the feet more or less sorted. The new object is feet or foot. So we're going to change this, and all you need to do is on the x-axis change this to 90, and you have it really good width and then just move it until you think it looks good on the feet so there you go and if you watch the real figurine the inside of the feet seems to be a little bit closer together i don't remember exactly how far they are now because i'm doing this all off memory duplicate this one to the other foot so now we have the right and the left foot and just drag and drop there you go looking nice and fine here. Right, we duplicated an item before so we want to make sure that everything is correct here. So the item we hid, the cylinder 1, is now invisible. So if you hold in Alt and double click, oh, well this time it's single click so my bad. Now we're going to do something with this one, we're actually going to use the bool tool again. So go to the side view here, you can either swap um, perspective view or just uh, move your camera around a little bit. So let's lift this one up a little bit. And I would say about halfway, so it goes in halfway in on this a little bit. And that looks quite nice. So we want to add between the belt and this cylinder, 
another bowl. So I had this bowl here. So the belt and cylinder will lift them in. And as you can see, we are removing a little bit here. Same as before, press C on the bowl to make the object edible. Select children, then connect objects and delete and you have just one item. So let's rename this to belt again. Now we can take the rest, the legs, the foot, or both the feet and lift them up a little bit. So right about there. That looks quite amazing. But there is one more thing missing and this is going to be a really quick and easy thing to add. So go into your objects and let's add a cone. This cone is going to be the top item, the, action, the thing that connects the legs to the torso of the Lego figurine. So we're going to have to adjust this a little bit. So the top radius, put that one to 80 so you get a more open cone because we're going to do a few things to this. Now the height segments, reduce this to 5 because we don't really need that many up on the height. And the rotation segments, let's reduce this by a quarter. So go down to eight. Now we have a decent size that looks like the top of the, the Lego legs. But we're gonna have to do a few more things to this item. We're not really, really there yet. So hold in command or control and lift this item up a little bit. About 30 centimeters would be good. Then press T on your keyboard and reduce the size to around 85. You can also do this by just doing the numbers, but 85-ish is quite good because it will add a little line here. And you guessed it, we are once again gonna go in and play around with the bull. So we have cone one and cone. So put them into the bull and there you go. You have a nice object looking just like the connectors, but it's a little bit too big. So make this editable, Just click on bool, press C or this button over here. Then right click on bool, select children, right click on bool again, connect objects and delete. And now we have just one item. And let's call these connectors. So press on scale and we want to re reduce this one down to about 60. So you can write it down here. 60 should be a good size for this. Time to move this up again. And if you find the um, jumping around of the x-axis really, really disturbing, you can right click up here and go customize plets and you can do axis center. So if you take this one, just drag it out there. When you click on this, you have different settings where you want to put this little point on the object you currently have selected. I prefer to keep mine exactly in the middle, so I just keep this here and press execute. That way I move this one up there and now it's easier for me to work around this object. So we have it right, right about here, just below the surface so that they are connected. But this one isn't really in the correct angle, so we're gonna have to adjust this one a little bit. So press R on your keyboard. Now we're gonna have to rotate this a little bit, just so that you get the angle facing front and this angle facing the exact side. How you do this is completely up to you since these are not going to be constructed unless you actually want to do this in a 3D printer because then you really need to keep these angles correctly and this distance measured exactly to how you build the top of the Lego figurine. But right about here looks quite nice. So now we have that one put in place. We need another one. So change to the move tool. Select this tool here that will do an axis reset and this will keep it to the world X and Y, Z axis. So it's easier to, for you to move it because now that we've rotated, if I just moved it to the left, it would have quickly moved off this belt that we have created. But the way I've selected it, the axis has been readjusted. So let's take away this axis uh, enable modification tool, hold in command or control and drag the next item to around there. That looks quite good. As you can see, we have quickly created our own pair of Lego legs. Now there are a few things we wanna adjust here before we get on. These two connectors 
are a little bit round, so when we render, they're gonna be perfectly round, and they're not really round on the Lego figurine. So these two phone tags, if you delete them and you had the settings, as I said, with the rotation segment and the height segment, you're gonna quickly shape into a little bit more of a distinct feature. So now that we're ending, we're gonna see that there are more edge to them. Right, now there isn't much left to do. Select all of these unless you actually want to keep them as they are and adjust the heights. Right click anywhere, connect objects and delete, and voila, you have your own Lego pair of legs. And you can select the vertices and the faces and everything if you want to do some uh, modeling. I, alternatively, you can actually move this out to the uh, Photoshop. So just create a nice gradient here. Keep the specular, go into color. Let's add a gradient blue somewhere. So 225, I would say. Two, yeah, 225 would be a decent blue. So let's keep a dark blue somewhere around the R. And 225. And let's keep you at the V under the yellow somewhere. That'd be kind of a good color. Nice, decent color. Just drop it on and render. And there are your Lego legs. So let me know what you think of this tutorial. If it helps you out, if there is something you can do with this. Um, as always, you can up the vertices, you can increase the uh, render quality and everything. There is one more thing that you can do, but I haven't really focused on it. As I said, we're playing around a lot with the bulls. So you can add a cylinder for the feet, because these Lego figurines are actually sitting in somewhere. So they need to be able to connect to the surface. So create a cylinder, and let's move this up to the correct position. And this is, I'm just doing this by eye, you really should follow <laughs> default numbers if you're gonna do this as a big proper bit. Let's reduce the height on this, we don't need it really that far to 50, it'll be easier to work with. We're also gonna reduce the radius a little bit, but now we're underneath the foot and we want the size to be slightly less than that. That looks sort of middle. The radius to 35, that looks quite good, let's duplicate you up to that, let's select both cylinders, move you up a little bit, not too far, we still want to remain within the foot of this section, so we move them up around there. Now these two need to go into a group, so have both of them selected, press Alt G to create that group. Let's create the bull from the array and drop both of these objects in here. As you can see, the, they are the wrong way around, so let's move the connectors on top. And there you go. You have the two round circles quickly and easily created. Select bull, press C, right click on bull, select all the children, and right click again, connect objects and delete, and there you go. If you want to color these up, just drag and drop, and there you go. That's one tiny, quick object. I hope this didn't take too long. It took me about 20 minutes to go through and describe all of this just from the memory as I built this one. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Please subscribe, hit like, and do give me comments and feedbacks. And have a nice weekend now.